you and welcome guys, I'm Dingsy and this is Avvat TV with the Let's Play of Supreme League of Patriots issue 1 a Patriot is Born. It's a game that was just released on Steam, we're gonna check it out. It's developed by Nobu Intentions and as far as the three issues of this particular kind of point and click adventures, they have nothing else on Steam. But it's published by Phoenix Online Publishing and they have quite a few titles you can check out. Okay, so let's check. The options in quality. How many presets? Yeah, five. Right? Yeah. Okay. And this is my settings. Let's see what the game's all about. I think we'll start WoW. It's WoW, I mean. With the tutorial. I'm not sure exactly what mechanics are gonna be behind, so let's gonna check it out. You've caught me rather by surprise. Oh. I wasn't expecting you until later, so the game isn't actually ready to begin yet. Oh no. Tell you what though, why don't you help me finish up a couple of things? It'll help you get acquainted with the interface, and it'll help me finish up in here so we can get started on the game proper. Okay, so the video Okay, well first things first, move the mouse around the screen, and as you move over points of interest, you'll see them light up with a purple outline. Really? I don't see Also, it. that text box above my head pops open and tells you what the object is. You'll need to do quite a lot of that when you play the game, as there are all sorts of interesting things littered about the scenery. Right, I was actually just packaging up a little present before you arrived, but I ran into a little snag and put it back in my in tray until I could figure out a solution. If you wouldn't mind, move the mouse over my in tray and left click. Mouse in tray, ah. Oh. Patriot putter, holy shit. Please switch off your peacemaker. What's this? Gym equipment. Okay, so click here. Well done. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound like a sarcastic jackass just then, but I am, so that's how it comes out. <laughs> Get to By know. Way, you can also click anywhere on the ground to make me walk there. That's useful if you need to get a better look around the scene and my ass is blocking the view. <laughs> of course, Kyle's ass is more likely to do that than mine, but still. <laughs> oh, yeah. Closer okay. inspection of the in tray reveals that there's a padded envelope in there. It will now appear as another hotspot on the screen that you can move the mouse over and interact with. Okay. Now, when you clicked on that in tray, I automatically knew that you wanted to examine it because the in tray has no other actions. That won't always be the case though. Hotspots can have interactions for examine, use, take and speak. Classic. And any combination of those is possible. When you click on a hotspot with more than one action, the verb wheel pops up. Just move the mouse over the action you want to take and click on it. Let's do that now. Let's do it. Click on the envelope hotspot on top of the in tray and select take to pick it up. Let's move your arse around. What's this on the side? Oh, it's the back with the British flag. Cool. This beast has eight 32-core CPUs, <laughs> a terabyte of RAM, and a liquid nitrogen called Quadfire graphics setup. It can search every national criminal database in a few milliseconds, and it monitors every major satellite channel in real time. Why would they need Quadfire graphics? Still can't get rid of that persistent stutter in Watch Dogs, though. <laughs> Shots were fired. <laughs> Shots are fired. Okay, let's take it. Great. Now, typically, when you try to pick something up, one of us will go and pick that item up. A bit like this. Nice shoes, bro. Well. In practice, though, if you're asking Kyle to pick something up, you might have to wait for him to stop scratching himself first. I have asked him about that. Now the envelope is in your inventory. You can access the inventory in one of two ways. Firstly, there's a utility belt, which allows quick access to your items without having to move to a new screen. Okay. Let's have a practice with that now. Where is it? Move the mouse down to the bottom of the screen and the utility belt will pop open. At the moment, you've only got one item in your inventory, so just click on that item. You'll find it in the center compartment of the belt, near the buckle. <laughs> I like the humor already. Oh wow. What really? It's in the middle? What the fuck? So we have not so much space for items or they just. Okay, the buckle, sh the buckle shows the item. Okay, got it. Excellent. 
Whenever you click on the item in that center compartment, it will activate the default action for that item, be it use, examine or whatever. If the item has more than one action, it will just pick the most appropriate one. What? Now it's time to get some dual wielding action going on. The reason I haven't posted this envelope is the peel and stick fastener is weaker than network rail coffee. So before <laughs> I send it out, I just need to find something to stick the flap down with. Over in the corner there, there's a bottle of glue. If you'd be so kind as to click on the glue and select take, it would be much appreciated. Sure, but here we go. Can we speed it up? Double click now. There's a small movement. Just what I needed. Now we just need to apply some glue to the envelope and I should be able to stick it down again. How do now we do that? Now you can't combine objects in the utility belt so we need to open the inventory screen. If you move oh. your mouse up to the top of the screen, you'll see three buttons. The task screen shows you the tasks you currently have to complete. The map screen lets you move from one location to another to get around New York quickly. Also, we'll be in New York. The one we want is the inventory screen though. It looks like an open box. Once you're in the inventory screen, drag the glue onto the envelope. Or the other way around if you prefer. I'm easy. All right, mate. Let's see. Those are the tasks that I need to complete, okay? This is the map, New York. Can't scroll around yet. And this is the inventory. Inventory, okay. We drag, combine. Smashing. There's a nice dollop of glue on the envelope now. Now we just need to stick it down. We could do that in the utility belt. But let's do it in the inventory screen instead. Open the inventory screen and click on the envelope. The envelope has multiple interactions, so the verb wheel will pop up, just as it does for hotspots with more than one action. Only one default action is available from the utility belt, so you may need to come into the inventory screen for some interactions. When the verb wheel pops Got up it. on the envelope, select Use. Terrific. The envelope is now nicely Terrific. sealed and the contents can't mysteriously vanish like the cash inside every birthday card anyone ever sent me. <laughs> We're pretty much done now, so you really just need to put the envelope back into the inbox. In order to use inventory items on scene items, they need to be in the centre slot of the utility belt, the one that looks like the buckle. Normally, you could use the arrows on either end of the belt to move items. But since you've only got one item left, you won't need to do that. Click on the inbox hotspot and you'll notice that there's an icon which looks like my freshly glued envelope <laughs> in the middle of the verb wheel. This only ever happens if it's possible to use the active item on that hotspot. Oh, I get Click it. Click on the envelope icon in the middle of the verb wheel to put the envelope back into the inbox. This would make it easier to check. So. This is the active box, wait. This be Here. Put. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Thanks for that. I can't tell you how relieved I am to get that done before the game starts. I only wish I could see the look on Ted Cruz's face when he opens it. Oh, that reminds me. I should make sure to wipe my fingerprints off before I stick it in the post box. Congratulations on making it all the way through the tutorial. Most people go straight to the main game, but good for you for not being embarrassed at being a bit slow. What? <laughs> Fuck you. I'll just send you back to the main menu, and you can start the game proper now. See you later. Start the game proper now. Right, now where did I put those photos of Tammy Baldwin? What the fuck are those guys? Oi, are you still here? Sling your rock. I wonder what's the keyboard commands if there are any. Anyhow, okay, it's time for the game. It's hype. Here we go. Be honest. How do I look? How is it? I'm not gonna lie to you. There is a remote possibility that the more eagle-eyed observer will have discerned a minor discrepancy in the hue of your attire. 
Do you think it'll affect my chances of winning the contest? Some people might argue that your bold reinterpretation of a national treasure is a delightfully provocative and <laughs> consciously incongruous attempt to read a modern tradition. I'm laughing because I know tradition. what he's talking about. Yeah, <laughs> they said different in the shoe. But personally, I'd say you look like some twat who accidentally put his costume <laughs> through the hot wash. <laughs> Love the car. Yeah. Okay, where are we moving? Okay, we're moving Kyle. Rewrite. Mel and I are both firmly behind the Occupy protests. The vast majority of Americans are honest, hard-working men and women who are disproportionately taxed and are forced to stand by while the rich elite siphon off all the profits and expect the rest to pay the price when they screw up the entire system. I agree. We're behind them 100%. <laughs> of course, we don't actually work. Or pay taxes. GG. Well, no sense being fanatical about it. Computer. Examine the computer. It smells PC. He uses it for all kinds of clever stuff. But I just play games and use Facebook. Classic. Your professors always said you should pay more attention in class. Professors always say things like that. Yeah, but in your case, they were right. Remember how you never used to read the college notice board and you were still in the old sports hall when they bulldozed it? <laughs> I'll snap. I'll just take it. Mel does all the technical stuff. Wouldn't be of much use to me. I am often tempted to leave my laptop at home and lug a full tower and 27 inch flat screen around with me all day, <laughs> but it's one of those little conveniences I never quite get around to. What if you try to use it? I could see if I have any replies from that dating website I signed up to, I suppose. Yeah, let's check it out. Ain't technology amazing? <laughs> sure is. If I went speed dating, it would take me an entire evening to get the number of rejections I get on here in half an hour. <laughs> if you went speed dating, you'd have to get dressed. Okay, so basically nothing in there. Okay, keep scouting. Space? No? Wait. Yes? Space highlights everything. Nice. One, two, three. Q, V, E. I know R, ah, I think A. That refreshes the screen or something. If you're ready to head to the auditions, we should get going. No, no, thank you. We're scouting in here. Pizza. We had a pizza delivered last night. This is the box it came in. That character, though. We haven't thrown it out because we're convinced that the box is stuffed with cheese, but haven't found it yet. Throwing it out. Out. What, we could use the blinds? We generally keep the blinds closed day and night. During the day, it stops the sunlight reflecting off the TV. And during, and the, during night. the night, it stops the locals from suspecting you might have witnessed something. <laughs> <laughs> Suspecting you might have witnessed something. Wow, nice attitude. It says here that Dennis Leary has a new stand-up show coming to town. Are you gonna go see it? No, I saw him in 1987. <laughs> Didn't you like him? He was okay, but I think I'll wait until he's got some new material. Wow, Could so be much in shots. For a long wait, dude. <laughs> Oh no, Bill Hicks is dead. Damn. I think the way they show the characters that they talk takes a little bit too much time. Maybe that could be a little bit speeding up. I don't know. Examine Mel. It's my best friend Melvin. He's British, but he's pretty cool. He's definitely not the typical Brit. Really? Well, you're not the typical Yank either. <laughs> How come? You haven't shot me yet. Oh snap. Okay. What else can we discover here? It's the phone. It says 555-0200. Five, 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 zero, zero, zero. That's, That's right. right. Some poor sap is getting a call from an obsessive compulsive gamer tonight. Oh boy. Let me call quick. Kyle's bedroom. Do we really want to get out? 
What if we use this? What are we gonna see? Let's let some sunshine in, shall we? Oh no. Whoa. Oh yeah, much better. It's a fucking big wall outside, what? We generally keep and Yeah, we heard that already. There's a hat. It's a hat I received as a birthday present one year. I never wear it because it makes me look ridiculous. Sure. Yeah, we can't have that. Okay, <laughs> I think we we talk enough everything in here. Let's go to Kyle's room. Can I double click? Should have started. <sighs> Loading screen. What does A do? Yeah, that said it was a screen or what? I don't know why. Checking keys, yes, yeah, space highlights, and just A does something. If you're ready to head to the auditions, we should get going. Calm your nipples. Let's say closets. It's the closet that came with the apartment. <laughs> I think the previous tenant I have left one it too. because of the inconvenience of trying to get it out of here. Yeah, it is pretty huge. Same. Not everyone has a closet they can climb inside. Wow. Oh. I know. Once I was in bed with a girl, and she thought she heard her boyfriend coming, so I jumped out of bed and hid in it. Mate, this is your apartment. Yeah. We both felt pretty stupid when we realized that she couldn't possibly have heard her boyfriend. You hadn't taken your key with you, so you'd have had to ring the bell to get in. Oh, snap. Jenny. <laughs> Oh wow, it's all about the shots that were fired that day. What's wrong with whales, mate? Screw the whales. Nothing, I guess. I'm just more of a dolphin person. But whales get all the movies. <laughs> What's so great about dolphins? They dream, Haven't you dude. ever swum with dolphins? <laughs> it's amazing. You get in the water with a dolphin, you stroke it, you kiss it, you climb on its back, and it pretends to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, wow. Sounds like my parents' marriage. <laughs> well, this game. I loved this guy. His passing was such a loss. I didn't know you were one of those NRA gun nuts. I'm not. I just loved his acting. He was amazing as Moses. I love that bit when he comes down from Mount Sinai with the tablets and says, For my cold, dead hands. I don't get that reference. The though. only film of his I ever really got into was the one where he plays the last human left on Earth. Which is exactly how I feel when I pass through Newark. I never had you pegged as the patriotic type, mate. I bet it is born. I'm Issue not. one. You'd be amazed how much more Republican skirt you get with this, though. <laughs> oh, I'll. That I definitely don't want to carry old glory around with me. I used to go out with a girl who called her VJJ old glory. Well, I like to think that she meant she expected people to treat it with reverence and never take it for granted. There's a drawer in the bedside cabinet. And now, oh, check it out. I should have clicked on the cabinet first. That's where I keep my briefs. If there's one thing your briefs are not, it's <laughs> brief. They're positively verbose. He always had a reply. Let's use it to see what's inside. I'm already wearing clean underwear. Oh, the underwear is in your there? Your mom would be proud of you. Yep, I have nothing to fear from being hit by buses now. <laughs> you check everything? Oh no, there's something here. Chest of drawers. I organize my clothes very carefully. I didn't know that. By color or by <laughs> style? <laughs> by body part. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> All this time when you were talking about the bottom <laughs> drawer, I thought you meant... Nope. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, this game. <laughs> so good. 
Okay. It's my best friend Mel. Oi. Well, you're not the tip. How come? Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Mel is here as well. Most. They know they both talk. Okay. Can we speak about something? Mel, I don't think I can go through with this. Okay. Now that my costume is ruined, I've lost all my self-confidence. I don't believe I can win anymore. Is he wearing lipstick? That's dopey. Really? You don't think the die running and turning my patriotic costume purple has ruined my chances of winning? Aww. Of course not. You never had any. <laughs> That's it. I'm going back to bed. Oh, come oh, on. Oh, don't be soft. We travelled all the way across town on the bus to get that costume. You can't give up without at least getting to the theatre and showing them your act. I didn't sit next to that homeless woman that smelled of vodka for you to just walk out without doing your bit. Okay, I'll do it. But only because you believe in me. Yeah. Did I ever mention that I have total faith in your ability to mop the kitchen floor occasionally? <laughs> okay, quite a few talkings. Let's I do it. I can't believe my costume got ruined. How did I ever let this happen? Well... As I recall, you were wearing it while eating pizza last night, and then you had to put it in the washing machine to try to get rid of the Napolitana sauce. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. It's all coming back to me now. It's because of the pizza, I think you ruined it. I'm not it. surprised. You had 11 slices. <laughs> Just remember to flush when you're done. <laughs> wow. Oh. And the things you talk does not disappear. Not good. Mel, what are we doing here? What do you mean, what are we doing here? We live here. Have you been sniffing the mushrooms in the shower again? What? No, I know that. I just mean, why aren't we at the theatre? The auditions end in a couple of hours. If what we go we halfway across for? Manhattan without an address and a map, we'll get lost. I won't get lost in the theatre district. An experienced actor like me knows every crack in those sidewalks. Yeah. Which sidewalks? <laughs> Those dirty ones on Broadway. Well, maybe off-Broadway. That's the first time I've heard the term off-Broadway used to describe Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy crackers? Mm. Yeah. You should change your underwear more often. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I need help. You've noticed as well, have you? Something particular you had in mind? Thanks, Mel. That's all the help I need. What? If you say so. Talk to Something you later. Something happened there. Cheery boy. Yeah, as if we're separating. Okay, I think it's time to go out. Is it? Costume looks awesome. Why are we always going to the starting screen on the warding? I guess that's the warding screen. Well, I guess now is the time to save, as the game does not automatically save, I think. There we go. Save all. We start with zero. Pro. Well, I guess we'll continue next time, guys. So don't forget to rate the video, follow the channel. I'm Dixie, and this is Avebat TV with the Let's Play of Supreme League of Patriots Issue 1. A patriot is born. Till next time.